It's amazing when a high school student recognizes a need and then works for a solution. Welcome Aliana Walters from Spanish Fork High to the table. Welcome. Welcome. Hi. It's good to have you here. Oh, we are excited. Be here. So I, I want to just kind of take this, how, how this all came to be, this meeting. You emailed the city council. Yes. Probably a month ago, right? Yeah, it's been a minute, yeah. Yeah. And you said, hey, I'm doing a fundraiser for the special needs class at Spanish Fork High School. How can you help spread the word? So I replied and said, okay, studio chatter, of course, but if you want to go on to, to meet us at um, city council, you can talk in the public comments. So if people yeah. recognize you, you spoke there. But I want to backpedal yes. to the back your, story. yeah, the backstory. So tell us about your personal family. My personal family. So um, I just have a younger brother. Um, so just me and him, we're super close. Um, and then uh, my mom, she's handicapped. Um, I've taken care of her many years. I love her. She's wonderful. Um, and then my dad, he's always there for me. So that's our kind of our family dynamics. Okay. Just, oh. So you don't know your mom any other way? No. no okay. Because So did you know I knew your mom in high school? I did not know that, yeah. really. Yeah, no. I totally knew her. So do you know much like about the, the accident? I do, yeah. Um, so when she was at the same high school I'm at, Spanish Fork High School, um, she was going out with some friends to lunch, um, and they hit a Leland feed mill truck that had grain in it, so it was a compact of a two-ton. Um, and she was sitting on the console, and her right and left side of her brain collided and bounced off the inside um, walls of her skull. And so she has traumatic brain injury. Um, from wow. that. So. Wow. As it from high school on, yeah. she's yes. had that. Yep. Never goes away. Yeah. So then wow. here comes little Aliana, a baby. <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and and how has what she's endured and now how has that shaped you? Tell us a little bit about growing up. Um, so ever since I've been little, I'm the kind of person that I'm gonna teach myself how to tie my shoe. I'm gonna teach myself these different things. Um, so I'm very independent, but that's a good thing because my mom, um, with her traumatic brain injury, um, she doesn't know the meaning of a lot of words. She's kind of like a Dory. She has short-term and long-term memory loss. Oh, and so, both. Yeah. Wow. So she has a hard time remembering things. Maybe you told her five minutes ago or like when I was born or any of that. She doesn't remember. Um, and so growing up, um, I was always her advocate um, in school, teachers, principals. Hey, like she doesn't understand this, I need to do that. And so oh that gosh. shaped me into caring for people. I love them and it makes me much more understanding and compassionate for those with their wow. children. Wow, this like makes me want so, to cry. That makes me want to cry too. I'm very, very close to, to that story too. Uh, I mean, um, so I had a, a brain injury, so to speak, not anything as traumatic as that, but I've been kind of on house arrest for like the last three months or oh, so. Wow. So having, I mean, I would love to have my daughter speak to you because it, it does. I mean, it's it makes you become more of an independent person, I'm sure. Yes. So listening to you speak about that and then the things that you're doing now for the special needs program is very, very heartwarming. Oh. So I, I do love that. And recently, actually, um, I've been helping in some of the special needs class at the school. So oh, really? that, that's that's even better. Oh, so, that's awesome. so, so what are you trying to, to do or, or fundraise or what's the, what's the project? So um, I'm trying to spread the message that education is for all. Mm -hmm. um, specifically, I've used our special education class at the high school um, to raise funds for them. We created a t-shirt a that says education is for all on it that each of the children in that class helped design. Okay. Um, and they're different because it shows that no matter the challenges that someone has, they all deserve to learn and grow and have that opportunity. Um, and so with the funds that we have, we're gonna take those and it'll help them for the Special Olympics gear that they need and okay. specific things they need in their classroom to help students learn. What are some of the things that you've seen like in their classrooms that they could really benefit from? Um, one is like helping them speak or some of the students communicate mm -hmm. um, like sign language boards or mm -hmm. tablets or different things like that. Um, there's also just creating spaces for the students and giving them their own area, just incorporating them better into the classroom. Okay. okay. Wow. And you know, my brother is also handicapped. And so things that can help them feel like they 
are of value and they can do things and they have a little bit of purpose, I think is really, really important. And I love that you're doing that. Oh, thank you. I completely agree with that. That's so, yes. And I can tell that you're really mature from, I mean, from, <laughs> from having to help take care of your mom, but also learning to do things on your own. Mm -hmm. I think that, is, that says a lot about you. And I think you're going to go far places in your life, too. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank Are you, you a senior? I'm only a sophomore. I'm 15 oh. years old. Oh, <laughs> see? <laughs> see? Yes, I'm thinking you're like on yeah. the way to conquer the world well, this summer. I, but, I, well, do, do you have friends that help in the same capacity? Because I know a little bit about the peer tutoring programs in the high schools, um, which I, I didn't know about that before <laughs> until they're like helping these students get to classes and do all these things and yes. making them feel important <laughs> and included. Um, so yeah. are there other friends that are helping you in this project? Um, I've mainly done it alone, actually. Okay. I've had, now I've had so much support, my administration, all the teachers, um, but friends specifically, they've really been there to support me, go hang up flyers, um, help me when I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to get over this hurdle or different uh -huh. things like mm -hmm. that. Um, but in my friend group, I'm the one that really um, loves it and that's what I love. But um, being a part of this has wanted them to step up and be included more, which I think is awesome. Oh, I right. love that, yes. So how, if viewers are wondering, how can I donate? What's, what's the best way for someone to find out Okay. Yes. Where to give? So um, I have a website put up on Success Fund. Um, you can go to the link. It's https colon forward slash forward slash sfnd dot io forward slash ym three n. And I'm hoping <laughs> producer Pete will put all of that on the screen in a hyperlink just for us. Yes. Right? yes. yes. So, so make it, it easy. We can just. Put it right in our computer, computer and donate, and yes. the funds, all of it will go right to that class. Yes, it will. Yeah, I've worked with my administration so that we can just give it all to them. Mm -hmm. So, Do you have a dollar amount goal that you're trying to reach? Um, right now it's at $1,000, but if we were able to go over that, that would be just wonderful for their classroom. Okay. So. And how long will this fundraiser be going? We're going till the end of March. Okay. As far as, yeah. So this is perfect timing because this will be airing the last two weeks of March. I so so I hope yeah. that as we have people listening that they're I want you to take it to the district. Like I just think yeah. that there's so many classrooms that could benefit. I mean, just beyond one school. Yeah, yeah. I love that. That's a great idea. Yeah. Oh, you're well. wonderful. Oh, you're so <laughs> sweet. Thank you. So, and right before you, we started filming, you told us that you are going to Washington, D.C. for your oh, first yes. time this summer. I am, And yes. in one of our segments coming up in just a moment, Angela and I are going to talk about our little trip there. But tell us how, how like, you did something to earn a trip to D.C. How yeah. did that happen? Um, so I'm in a club or an organization called Educators Rising. Um, it's for those that want to become teachers, administrators, mm. social workers, counselors, or anything in that field. Um, and so I took my fundraiser and I showcased it essentially. I showed them all that I did um, and I took first in my competition. So when you say you so, took your fundraiser, wow. this fundraiser that you're telling us about, yes. you presented it to a committee and yes, you won. Judges. Yes, I did. Yes. Oh my gosh. Utah wow. State professors, I presented it to and they loved it. So Wow. Awesome. So how could they not? <laughs> of all those things that you mentioned, mm -hmm. social worker, teacher, what would you guess would be something you'd want to do? I want to be a special education teacher, if that's maybe not obvious. <laughs> I, could, I, could. I would never have guessed. Oh, yeah. so, well, you're going go places. To. Oh, thank For you. Sure. Oh. Darling, yes. and so smart. You guys are so sweet. Well, we, we adore you. Oh, thank yeah. you. So why the timing this year? Like, what is there any special reason, uh, maybe aside from if there's a competition, but is there any other reason why this year you just felt like, I'm gonna do this? Um, well, it's my first year at the high school. Um, you know, I can't even drive myself around yet. Um, <laughs> but I really wanted to get involved in my community. Um, like with my mom, I've learned to be so compassionate. I love everyone and I just wanna see them succeed and grow and so um, this year with the resources that our high school has as well, I've just really been able to 
get the roll the stone move in and just really push that forward. Oh, so we can totally see that. Yeah. We see big things coming. Yeah. Big things. Thank <laughs> okay. you so much for joining us yes, and educating thank you. us. Thank you. Thank you.